Okay, great. You can hear uh, this beautiful lady as well talk. Hello. Tell them you love me very much. I love you very much. Excellent. <laughs> oh, a lot of the, the lip gloss. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm on the PC. Standard case of crocodile once again. What crocodile? So modem, welcome Mongas. Uh, welcome to the stream. Welcome Wes, welcome Fred. Vasilis! So, Yo. uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Deteriorating melancholy is what they used to call depression back in the day. This is the 19th century. No, it's the 20th. 1920, to be exact. Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Bazookas, come to YouTube, man. Just come to YouTube. YouTube looks great. Story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is yeah, the whole soundtrack is like that, Vasilis. 1992 or 1994? Must have been 1994. 92 is too early for the Saturn and PlayStation. not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Except if I forgot to get my cab by the Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come through? PlayStation 1, Sega no. Saturn, and PC. But you might need to wave it around. Oh, okay, Grim. Agreeable with staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Okay, so we have two characters. Uh, Carnby is played by David Harbour. And Emily by Jodie Coma. You might know here from The Last Duel, Ridley Scott. Uh, Solid actress, Harbour is very solid. We're gonna play with her because I already have a, a save in, in the making with um, Carnby. So guys, it's very puzzles intensive. I'm gonna, uh, at least the initial puzzles, I'm gonna give you a moment to, to grasp them, to try to work through them. And uh, the game is running Unreal Engine 4. The places I have visited should run fine. When I visit a play with Emily that I haven't visited with Carnby, there's gonna be some Unreal Engine stuttering because Unreal Engine, you know, has this problem on PC. If the shaders are not pre-compiled, you have stuttering. Can't do anything about it, it's not my fault, so we're gonna stomach it. People who played the Callisto Protocol know what I'm talking about. Callisto Protocol. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. Oh, 
very nice facial expression there. Really? It was like, you know. Yeah. It looked like he was uh, wearing a beard. Like having a dookie. No, like it was too shady on her cheeks. Okay. Guys, do you need more light? Is it dark for you? I'm using HDR. Maybe you'll be seeing a dark picture. Do you want me to lighten it up a bit? Let me know what you're seeing. It is a dark room, but uh, let me know. Oh, Gareth. See what he says? He wants you here. Hey, Harami. You don't know him? Thank you, Gareth. Ah, okay. Harami. Yeah, okay, it's meant to be dark, indeed. Yeah, getting yeah, the mic to work has been uh, an adventure. What's this? Where was the flashlight? A clue. The flashlight light was a clue. A clue for The what? clue is in the title. <laughs> Alone in the dark. Modem, uh, you like, you know, old school survival horror? It is solid. Oh, bulletinos. One thing that really uh, strikes me is that most of the time you spend in Derseto, in the mansion, it's evening. It's like that. It's not like pitch black darkness, which is a strange choice for a survival horror game. Why? Because night is spookier. Housekeeper Kim. Yeah, but when it actually turns to night, it will be even spookier. You'll see what happens, baby. Okay, from what I'm seeing from the metrics, you must be getting a pristine image on YouTube, right? So, the encoding is done fine, and I'm getting 60 frames solid here, so good job to these peeps. <laughs> Now. Every day your silence weighs a little heavy. Guys, every single piece of paper in this game is voiced, so I don't have to scream my lungs off. Do you want me to let you listen to these files, or do you just want to skip them? You tell me what you want, and I'll act accordingly. Hmm. Twitch stream isn't working, Tris. Do they have inclusion them? Well, yeah, some do. Yeah, listen to them. I knew Vasilis would want to listen to them. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but... It's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. 
Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sun, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil <laughs> shoestrings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Okay, guys, um, listen, if you hear a slight echo, it's because Cleo's mic is picking me up when I talk. Baby, if you don't want to say something, uh, can you just, you know, turn it off for a minute? And but when you want to... It will scrap. Yeah, maybe it will. But um, as long as the game sound is fine, we are fine. Is it okay now? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. What? You can hear? Yeah. You can hear the game, and I can hear you from just standing beside me. It's fine. Um, so, yeah. That's how all dialogue uh, um, and text is handled in the game. There is a narrator. And when I first uh, listened to this first book that you find in the game, it's actually the old lady talking to the Christian god. Uh, telling him, uh, I'm not feeling so well, so I'll practice some voodoo. <laughs> I'm like, that's not how it works. <laughs> Baby, don't play around with it. Okay. Please, t today has been a very hard day for me. Okay. I almost popped a vein earlier. When you want to talk, turn it on, it's fine. I will just keep it on then. Blubber mouth. Why so hunts? I don't know. It's like the hunchback. Oh man. Yeah, I had some technical difficulties earlier and I was pressed for time and I started getting angry and it is what it is. Who were you trying to shoot, then? The voodoo doctor. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working, after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up, and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Gareth, uh, my metrics say zero loss, bro. Refresh your, your thingy, please. What was this? What are you looking at that you're not telling us? Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, so this is one of the puzzles that we have to solve, but we don't have the two missing pieces yet, so we can't solve it. Oh. That's very much it. Did you see the starter? Now, this stutter that you saw is Unreal Engine stuff. It's... Uh, unavoidable. It's unavoidable, yeah. It's in-game, it just loads shaders. I can't do anything about that, so... It is what it is. It is what it is. 
Why are we here? Why does the game start, you mean? No, why are we here? Because we're trying to find a way to open the main door for uh, Carnby. Why? What do you... What do we want to do? To find her un uncle in here. What will the uncle do? What... what He's supposed what? to be losing his marbles. It was in the intro, baby. Yeah, but... Are we doctors or...? No, we're the, the last direct relative and we come here to see if he's lost it. I don't break into my uncle's home, so it's kind of weird to me. This is kind of a mental hospital, it's not exactly a house. Oh, okay. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he would do something irreversible. <laughs> Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. About the voice acting. <clears throat> I need to, to, to speak more mildly because the other mic picks me up. About the voice acting. The voice acting in the game is excellent. Everyone did a great job. And... Um, this Salon in the Dark, the OG, is a very atmospheric, very classic kind of horror. It's not about, um, you know, pitch dark places and uh, dismemberment and shit like that. It was more nuanced. Uh, Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare that came out in 2000 was much more edgy. It was like ghost zombies and monsters and shit like that. But the first one, although it has monsters, is, you know, uh, it's like a period piece, let's say. It has monsters. What? It has monsters. Yeah, of course, it has combat. Why are you spoiling it? Not spoiling. I thought it didn't have monsters. Seriously, why would I have a gun? Not for the uncle. Just in case he's lost it. Yeah. I thought he was the monster. That's a strange way to deal with the uncle. Yeah. I need the key. Why do the door close? Yeah, the doors close after a while because the doors are loading points, apparently. Uh huh. Bear. Friends of the Communists. Wait, don't! No. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? <laughs> you shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. <laughs> My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at your setup. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine, I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. <laughs> K. 
creepy. Hag. Yeah. Can you show us? Follow me. <laughs> Dr. Meredith Gray. <laughs> Why would they keep so many sculptures around crazy people? It's a horror game. Thank you. Spooky, spooky. The sculptures. <laughs> Depends if you see the shadows. Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. Jeremy had gone missing. The housekeeper said the staff at Der Cetto was looking for him, but Emily wanted answers and demanded to speak to Dr. Gray, the man in charge. While waiting, a young girl offered to show Emily and Detective Conby inside Jeremy's room. The perfect opportunity to look for clues regarding Jeremy's disappearance. So even the updates you get are voiced. I don't know if you want to listen to every single one of those, but... Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until... Okay, guys, this is five pages, okay? Um, I'm gonna give you the gist of it because I understand that some of you won't want to read five pages of this. Uh, pretty much, it's a book written by Jeremy, and he explains that an entity called the Dark Man has been haunting him. And in order to save everyone else in this asylum, he made a deal with the Dark Man that binds him in specific ways. That's all he gives you at this point. You don't really know much. But uh, these symbols here, the final page, these are important. Oh, this one is uh, from uh, the boiler room. I think it is. Yes, it's very perceptive. So, uh, yeah, it's five pages. We're not going to listen to five pages, but all other texts are uh, shorter. And this is the painting tile. One of the two. No, this for this. It's only missing one. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, is like this. Like this. Like this. Well done. Yeah, that's pretty much easy. I got it first try, like in three moves. Have yep, you Grim. Anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure. <laughs> you want to take the painting? <laughs> he thinks he's losing it. Yeah. Well, this guy had a rough moment there. You know this guy, Jeremy? Yeah, this is Jeremy. You take the frame as well. Well, to keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily. I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Grim, you're so nuanced, man. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Harry farts. <laughs> Detective Carnby? Where did... What 
is this place? What happened? We're teleported to a totally different place. Oh, okay. With, but <laughs> but still has rats. Rats are everywhere. Can you go in the manhole? Nope. So this is the introduction of the very first enemy in the game. And I find it very strange that you just stumble upon the, the very first enemy in the game. I, I thought it was very strange. Wait. Because it has no introduction. Hey, the buyer. Well, that is the way it would happen, I guess. Like, how you know where they are? It was a good headshot. Anyway, I started blasting. Bro, if I saw the... the bog monster in front of me, I'd start shooting. Yeah. Like, better go in jail than get eaten by the bog monster because I wanted to ask him if he's having a nice day. I can't go that way. Why can't you go that way? <laughs> Why can't she go that way? Thick fog. We all know that if you have to choose between thick fog and bog monsters, you fight the monsters. Oh yeah, of course. Duh! <laughs> Trish, you say this. I'd go back up. This can't be. Into the bedroom. And just cry myself to sleep. Snipe them. No. Cry myself to sleep? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you are the proverbial. Uh, how is it called? Uh, ostrich. What? You know. Put your head in the in the sands. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, Miyazaki is hiding them there. Dorsetto, looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would he? I killed him. <laughs> You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. True words have <laughs> yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. <coughs> it's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. <coughs> I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. 
Dude, this guy is huge. Are you staying here? For a while. Wanna see if Jeremy shows up. What are the chances of Jeremy showing up? Guys, um, does everything look and sound okay? Son of a baby, you're moving me around. <sighs> okay, I'm just trying to avoid him for the time being. Wait, 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 where am I supposed to go? Yeah, this way. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. The, the shed will be spraying all over. No, I'm asking because I don't know if YouTube sent proper notifications, but we ran the poll on Discord. We got about 20 votes and I see eight people tuned in. So if we can't even trust Discord, I have to start scratching my head. Okay, this doesn't have a voiceover. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving on the number looks to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sandstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Rich, I know, man. I know. I know. You're very trustworthy. You've proven that time and again. And, uh, you know, guys, like these games, uh, it's not the run and shoot the guy in the face kind of game up obviously is a bit more how should i put it a bit more intricate but that's exactly why i put up the poll in the first play like if there's no interest in watching something like this it's like get the coach and shit for it and just run through the whole ordeal so this is the first talisman puzzle and uh, to solve it Exactly what she said. We need to know the numbers. The commonplace book, last page. Nope. There it is. <laughs> Talisman with black sandstone, an ancient navigational tool found inside a chenier along the bayou Tonka. I don't know what that is. The old grave was uncovered by oil riggers and said to have unleashed a vagabond devil that massacred its finders. Three numbers needed to span a bridge between the scrapes of dream and memory according to Stern. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. <clears throat> three, five, eight. So three, five, eight is the number we need. And um, it usually goes from the outer Perimeter to the inner perimeter. Do you have any idea? I'm meeting. Wait. 
Buon appetito. Thank you. What do you want? What do you mean? Hmm. AD to rotate this. Okay. Yeah. Put the three in the middle. In the middle, like down, down here? here? Yeah. Okay. What? Wait. Um. Oh. It turns the whole thing around. Yes. Okay. So but we can go and rotate, rotate, let's say, the inner one. Okay, uh, do the outer one and put it in the middle up here, where uh, this thing is? No. At the very bottom you see a little pointy thing, like an arrow. Yeah, I thought that, but then I saw... Ah, five will be here. Yes, as it is. Ah, it's already. And eight would be here. Yes. There you go. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? That's where you are. Behind you. It's behind you. There it is. Yes. Okay. So oh. good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious oh. to hear what this is all about. Mm. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh, well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man. Depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the Dark Man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's... supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital. 
Would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. Guys, I don't know what YouTube is doing. We were at 23 likes, now we're at 19. Don't know if someone tried to like, already liked, and deactivated the like. Like, God, I'm, today... I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. My nerves are shot. I don't know what the fuck is happening with this stream, honestly. to explain. It was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No, it's... I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand. Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle <laughs> the investigation. Why is everyone so... I'm not crazy, detective. Not yet. <laughs> hey, Costas. Okay, catch you later. Can you hear me? Why is everyone so rude? Yeah. Because it's 1920. Yeah, but... They're getting money like this can from her. ...between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world. Like Tarawea. The place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. So, what uh, that Batiste guy told her is that we seem to be in Jeremy's mind whenever she is transferred to those strange occasions. Which means that Jeremy, through some means, is manifesting his thoughts in the real world and you can get stuck in them. Saw you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. Are we gonna prepare the boiler? Paul, yeah. you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. Dude, if you were stuck in Nim's head, you know those pillows, pillows that have Nicolas Cage's face on them? It would be Sub's mom. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul. Okay, this is a list of where his patient is. Room key six. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. But this is the patient's files. It details uh, all the people living in the asylum right now. I have to tell you, one thing I owe. Mother Mary, hallelujah. Um, one thing I liked a lot about this game is the fact that it gives you text and most of it is voiced but it's snippets it's five rows of text voiced and uh, then you keep going or like five pages yeah that's a couple of occasions only uh, most are really really short and to the point because alone in the dark the new nightmare had the text i don't know if you were here on that screen that was 144 pages was it voiced <laughs> no <laughs> You had to read 144 pages. It was like, you have to take a whole gaming session just to read it. Audiobook. <laughs> yeah, a, a day of your life just to read a text file in Alone in the Dark. 
Okay, let's go to the communist bear. Like, people can't hurt themselves on the statues. Oh, are they gonna ram them with their heads? Yeah, well, like, they don't give you shoelaces in uh, mental sanctuaries now. All back to normal. Emily's here. <laughs> Emily is here, and behind her is. The poopiest of the pooper. Oh no. It looks like a... It's, it's a shadow. It's the dark man. It's a shadow. It's not a teddy bear. It's a shadow. It's a pedo bear. It's her shadow. The Literally. pedo bear? No! <laughs> yes, the pedo bear. Yeah, but those were pretty short as well. The last the Argonian made was very good. What was that? Hmm? It's blocked. Those doors are blocked. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks mm, are these zodiac signs? Okay, this puzzle is fantastic. I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Hateful mound. Yeah. <clears throat> will I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Terceto, and sadly, no Astarte. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. Who's Terceto? The, this mansion, the asylum, is called Terceto. So we have the zodiac signs here, 12, and you see Aquarius is 1, 11, 10. Scorpio is 10, Sagittarius is 11, and then Capricorn will be 12. It's pretty much semi-numbered. Yeah. That's the whole mystery about this. Oh, really? Yeah. So here... Here are the, the numbers. Yeah. Each portrait has a number. Okay. Uh, and now uh, we have these portraits. Those and we... are not portraits. Yeah, the paintings. We can rotate them. Why? A specific combination of them. This is not the correct one. It has to match... Uh... A rod. Okay. They are the behind. I'll turn them all. No? Okay, how many, um, you know, rotating parts does the Zodiac puzzle have? Rotating? There yeah. are 12. Ah, three. Yeah, three. This was three. So, th which are the three we want, you think? Um, Either the rotten or the not rotten. Okay, the not rotten I'm gonna put in their place. And something flies. A cricket. So that's it. William Arges, Franklin Mossig, and Nora Keith. 
Okay. William Franklin Nora. Nora. Let's take a look. Two. Um, four. And which Franklin was the one? Nine. Yeah. Two nine four. Two nine four. So we got the zodiac. Two we want... is Pisces. Mm -hmm. Nine was Libra. And four is. Taurus. Taurus. Ah. None of our zodiacs were used in this. Pisces. Libra. Taurus and Libra. There it is. This puzzle is fantastic. Like the first time I solved it, it was like. I thought it was a rotten piece of pie. What? <laughs> that, that you took. Didn't it look like a rotten apple pie or something? God damn. Yes. Yes, yes. Nah. <laughs> and pineapple, apple pen. Not that normal. Bruh, that's... This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French Quarter, but it's broken and missing some pieces. We're missing another piece here. I need the key. That's not the one we need. You need the key. I don't understand one thing in this game. What? Um, you have to click I which is like the inventory screen, and then manually go to map objectives. Couldn't they just map them up on M, for example, or something? Why do I have to go through every menu? Doesn't make any sense. Have you gone uh, through settings to take a look? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm very picky with those things. So, these keys are... What is this? Uh... Miss Jackson's place that was in the alternate dimension. Then there are two belonging to the set, one the clerk's office and one for the library. Okay. Where's the library? There it is, straight Why ahead. Why do we have... Um... It is, yeah, amazing, you know? It's never been done before. <laughs> Spring. What does that sign say? Whoa! What? Uh, it it lie it's up right there. Yeah. If you stay still, ah, oh, it was just a statue. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was uh, a figure. <laughs> no. But yeah. Oh. Good evening, Miss Hartwood. That is your name, <laughs> isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth, Ruth Talon. Hello. you're smoking <laughs> how terribly quaint maybe so but i like it would you care to share some that smell is making me feel very nostalgic okay
Is it all that you hoped for? I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am. Then you could stay. <laughs> Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. You don't know anything about what happened to Jeremy, do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. <laughs> bon voyage. Man, she was checking me out. Yeah. <clears throat> like, this game has a certain finesse that's totally absent from horror games. You know, the characters talk in a way, the facial expressions, there is a lot of nuance, which I greatly appreciate. Are you reading anything good? A Brightness from Afar by Lord Boleskin. It's actually not bad. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. 1917. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Mm -hmm. The land was considered the difficult for history and was sold for only $30 yeah. to Elia P. This is the history of the mana. We don't need to really listen to it. Kind of lengthy as well. This will come in handy. Where would she put it? Right here. <laughs> It's something to want to wedge it. Okay. In case you're wondering, you cannot go from here because you cannot move past planters. No, it has a chain. Oh, that that looks totally insurmountable. You know, it follows the logic of games back in the day. If there was like a, a tile on the ground, you couldn't go anywhere. That was it, the end of your life. Well, Mass, I picked this up, I picked Rise of the Ronin up, and uh, we'll play some of the staples just to chill. Don't you worry, we'll be here. Easter? It's next weekend Easter? Is it the Catholic Easter? Probably Catholic, yeah. What are you doing sneaking around? You almost scared me to death. I'm I would sorry. bury you with your doll. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice at a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. You know what's going on here? I have a feeling Dorsetto is cursed. 
There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Harwood. I really mean that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to look after my gumbo. What is a gumbo? I don't know. But then again, she was playing with a doll that looked like a rotten schlong. So who knows? I thought it looked like a dead baby. Wrapped up. Shoot it. It's not there. Oh no, it disappeared. Fish stew. Fermented fish. Oh. Okay. Is it good? Fermented fish? No, gumbo. I don't know. It worked. I'm asking you if it's good. Not Is you. it good, Tris, Grim? Is it edible? What? Is it gonna be like the cause of explosive diarrhea? Oh, come on. Do you not like Psaro Shupa? Baby girls coming so close to my mic, they will be hearing us thrice. I'm not screaming. Doesn't matter. Oh, we have to turn on the water. There we oh. go. Nice. No, no, uh, the Swedes eat fermented fish for some reason. Okay, that's one. <laughs> so is Gambo like our Saroshupa? Well, could be. We're going to take it out. She came this way, right? Uh, this scenario is a bit different than Carnby's, so... I'm not exactly playing something I've played through before. Oh, really? What do I have here? It's only this. Oh, it's... different. It's a lot different. Okay. Move, lady. I mean, I got pooped. What? Whoa. Molotov. Yep. Where, Where am I getting in? stuck? Well, it's not like I want to. Controls are a bit whatever. Why are you walking through the fire? I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Not that much of a shadow. Well, whatever. Okay, that was Where is your life? Uh, the health points are on the bottom right. That red bar. Oh, I when it opens, uh, Tris comes to you, butt naked, and demands justice, whatever that means. When it opens? When what opens? When it empties. When it empties? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's you don't want Tris coming to you, butt naked, and demanding justice. Yeah, let's not let it empty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win, because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes, you would see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. Everyone's an asshole here, man. <laughs> grant us eyes, grant us eyes! What? Grant? That's from Bloodborne. Okay, uh, so I came here with this piece, but this piece actually goes upstairs to the clock. Yeah. So we're gonna go there. I'm just gonna check this so they register on the map as places where we cannot go, you know? Because if something is locked, it's stated that you cannot go there. Yeah, bullets in the freezer. Makes total sense. Depends how paranoid you are. Welcome to the stream, guys! The Let bullets... me know if you're new here, enjoy! Hmm? The bullets work if they're frozen. If they're frozen solid, probably you're go probably gonna explode your hand. Really? Yeah, because it will be too much uh, friction and too much resistance. And uh, the cock of the gun will probably come in your face. <laughs> You know, you'll shoot, and there'll be a cock coming in the direction. What? That'll be scary. Yeah. That's the only cock allowed in this scenario. I like Thronix jokes better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was laughing at. <laughs> you didn't like my joke? Well, you always say cock jokes <laughs> for some reason <laughs> cock suckers <laughs> I can't read little potato <laughs> okay We, we cannot can move, move the middle. Yeah, the, the this goes the there. This. this goes where? This goes there. I think. Not like... Ah, no. Yeah. I don't think so. Apparently. Why not? Oh. No. Oh, yeah. this surely doesn't go here. Oh. This... Probably here, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh! That's how it's different to Carnby's. Carnby couldn't move the corners, but could move the center. I don't... Okay. So, this will 100% go here. Yeah. This goes here. This goes here. You're better at this than I am. This goes here. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because it has this little uh, chip. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Put the talisman socket back together. You got an achievement. <laughs> My penis enlarges. Okay, now we want this. The large is six, medium is four, and small is three. Six, four, three. Okay. Where are we gonna go, though? Six. No one knows. No. <laughs> uh, 
I always liked how no is written. Because it's like nose, but can be your nose. That's just the hallway outside Jeremy's room, isn't it? Then you have the little cubes for quoting called Knorr. Why are they not Knorr? The hugest mystery. Because they would be nor this, nor that. Oh my The housekeeper. <sighs> Jeremy's room? The hallway. The hallway. Outside Jeremy's room. Oh, the hallway outside oh. Jeremy's room. Yeah, the hallway. Go out in the hallway. Wanna tickle your toes. The door has to close. I remember that. Ah, okay. Now I'm pretty alone in the dark. Go in the light. Into the light. I did it. I opened up another trench. Why do you want to do it, though? To find him. It's quite strange that she goes into all this metaphysical mess. Like, if I realized that trying to find my uncle involved me traveling to some insane alternate dimension to be chomped by the bog monster, I'd probably call a specialist. Who? Who are you gonna call? Doctor Who. May 1923. Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hartwood's efforts delayed. The workers seemed nervous about his presence. The Hartwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. He means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. The bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. I like how this is um, read aloud while it's just, you know, an undernote here in the paper that someone else wrote. Yeah, but it's with a different voice. Yeah. Like a more laryngitis type of voice. A what? Uh, the one who read it has laryngitis or so something. Laryngitis? I thought you you mentioned a specific person. Like, who the hell is that dude? <laughs> Could you imagine? Larry Jenkins. <laughs> Locked. Locked. No. I got two. Full pistol bullets? Seriously, game? What? I've never seen this in a survival horror game. Survival horror games are all about hoarding. What do you mean I'm full? I should never be full. Yeah. But you're a hoarder. That's why you they put a cap on your hoarding. On my hoarding. Oh. Yeah, that gardening too. You're chopping. Yapping. No. <laughs> Let's 
like, uh, what did you drink? I drank some of the healing stuff. Oh, I thought you drank like uh, the oil from the lamp. <laughs> no, I have standards. <laughs> What's this? Okay, I have to be honest. Playing on normal is infinitely more enjoyable than playing on hard in this game. Because combat doesn't really work. Having to perfectly dodge 10 enemies and headshot them back to back is not a very enjoyable process. Is that the... What was that? Gob gob gub galab. <laughs> glub glub. Gab I am gop 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 So we were watching Dune the other day before we went to watch Dune 2. You have to you have to listen to this. And when Harkonnen uh, is lifted by his anti-grav uh, device, she starts laughing her ass off. And I'm like, this is this is fucking terrifying. Why why are you laughing? And then she shows me a video called the Glob Gob Gab Galab. <laughs> That's a viral thing from 10, 10 years ago. It was the most retarded thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, she ruined Dune for me, man. <laughs> but it, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> God damn it. Kids these days. Ah, uh, yep. The Glob Glob Gab Galab. The shrubble, the wood, 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 the Crazy Frog was, was also awful, but what I'm telling you is like, it's this creature, man, and he's like, I'm gonna tell you about philosophy. I'm gonna talk to you about art. He's like a slug, and then he's like, I am the gloop, 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 gloop. And I'm like, what? Why all the prologue? It's like the narrator of getting over it, man. Guys talking about art, and you're like in a fucking pot with a hammer, trying to avoid getting testicular cancer from that shit. There's no continuity here. Oh, shit. She got laid. But... What? He is the Shrimble Limba kind. Oh, enough! He is the thing of thoughts and mind. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs> Worse than the Crypto Island animated vid. I don't know. I haven't seen that, but... Not now. Why? No! We were working for our daily bread here. Watch it there. Let them watch it. Watch it on stream. <laughs> Glob gob gab galab. No, no. The Crypto Island uh, animated vid. Yeah. Look it up. Okay, okay. I'm not promising you anything. It's hilariously bad. Did someone actually Google Glop Glop Gab Galop? Esmo, we just found one. And as you can probably see, the AI is nothing to write home about. <laughs> Let's see if I can just go and smack it up for good measure. What do you mean? I'm gonna spade you! Is this a barricade? What does that mean? No, this is about game. Where are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? I'm what not aiming at anything. Ah! Oh my god, it's a fucking beastie! <laughs> she for me timbers! I'm like, why is she aiming at your feet? God damn it. He just wanted to eat from the plush <laughs> It's basic, right? It's a... Uh, a dream raccoon. Yeah. A raccoon in the morning, you have to free it from the trash can because it got stuck. Yeah. Because he's a fat ass. Where, where is that? 
but they're doing that. Canada? Yeah, in Canada. <laughs> hey, Nymph. Uh, thank you for the positive comment. Where's the twist? When are you saying the the What's really that? trollish line? What is that? This is an enemy. Why is it sitting like that? Because what I'm sneaking. Is they see me sneaking, they sit in. Okay. <laughs> huh? Huh? Good one. <laughs> Top notch humor right there. Slav squat. Where is the music coming from? Nymphus' bedroom. He brought art with him. Maybe because he is the... Glob glob gab 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 gab. <laughs> Spade his ass! But you're breaking your shovel. Yeah, that's what happens. They're disposable. And that's a very annoying thing. Like, I, this is like, I'm not playing the Legend of Zelda, like, Tears of the Kingdom, having to change my weapon every two minutes. Yeah, they break so easily, why? Yeah, it, they weren't actually American-made, they were brought in from China. <laughs> <laughs> and thus he got demonetized. Because Mao Tse Tung is everywhere, in spirit. Mao Tse Tung! Who is that? <laughs> I told you yesterday about Mao Tse Tung! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to Glob-Glob-Gab-Galab. You know who Glob-Glob-Gab-Galab is? You know? You don't know who Mao Tse Tung is? I'm gonna steal a whale from Mao Tse Thongs! what? <laughs> okay, hard sneak. Chicky bricky. <laughs> Generational gap indeed. Rahman she knows who Rahmaninov is, man. Who? Rahmaninov. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She has other qualities. Okay. <laughs> She's fucking digging her own grave here! Shut up! <laughs> Who is he? He's a great musician, baby. He's yeah. dead now. Oh. He's like why. Zed in Pulp Fiction. That's why I don't know him, I guess. Yeah, you know who Cardi B is. She's alive! That's why. Oh. <laughs> it's a survival process. Yeah. <laughs> My god. <laughs> yeah, guys. Shut up, you're sabotaging my day today. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Us? Poodle? More baby, don't do that. This guy, <laughs> the guy scared that 20 times in an echo. <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> there has to be a way to get to the other side. <laughs> Dude, this mofo was waiting for me around the corner. Hey there, Luki. No, no, where are you going, lady? I wanted the ladder. I'm 
Guys, is it too dark for you? I can brighten it up. Are we still echoing? I've gone a bit farther away now. Ah, you're good now. You're good. Puff cloth. That's my underwear. Look down, Emily. Can you scratch me here for one sec? Yeah, sure. Oh. That's how Nymphos initiates sex. He climbs on the chandelier and he just goes down like this, oiled up. Everyone's fair game once it starts. Okay, Nymph. If you have an asshole, you better not be there. So Kim Byung-un is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Byung-un is fine. <laughs> no. Well, he doesn't shit. <laughs> he doesn't have an asshole. Yeah. They're gonna have a, a gathering of the minds like with Jesus <laughs> to prove he doesn't shit. <laughs> Luke! <laughs> Jumba Anji. Okay, that's in time. So we'll find Jeremy here? Well, watch! <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> there is what happened! Why were you sent to Horny Prison? Maybe your mic's acting up again. What should I do? Oh, it's okay now. I had a dog. Jeremy, <laughs> you dropped your. <gasps> oh no, am I? Mrs. Marcus, get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle. Could you please? <sighs> Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. The I Bois? met your brother Batiste earlier. <sighs> I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Fine, believe the rest. I just want Jeremy to come looking. We have to leave. Oh, it comes inside. What? Where? Don't come inside. <laughs> <laughs> because it's the 1920s, bro. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. Juan to act Jorge. is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the state. False advertising. Hmm? People who discover this freedom unexpectedly 
will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, mm -hmm. turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for <laughs> or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Yeah, Grim takes it a step further. Like, are we alone though? I like the puzzle solving in this game. You have like 20,000 tools. You have so much furniture around you, but you need the little spade to move the, the gun from made. below. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't do it with uh, the shovel or something. Yeah. We're missing something there. The Barlow lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Magnificent magnification. She talks like the AI in Magnific Exoprimal. The AI of? Exoprimal. Oh. He uses some words that don't ex Oh, look at this! What? Book physics! Book physics, exactly! <laughs> Second best thing after foliage physics. After plant physics. Exactly. Yes. Is that the fish? What? I, I don't know. I thought I saw a fish. I don't smell anything. What? A cellar key, sitting room key, ballet knife. It's wet shut. Oh, come on. It worked. Well, it's not exactly rocket science. Turn around. Work. Turn around. Why? I want to see the wedge. Is it there? No. No. This is a... It is a hallucination! A wedge dispelling tool. Did she just have an orgasm? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's an interesting place, but... I wouldn't exactly fap over it. Then again, you never know. There are a lot of things I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> Popping over furniture. Yeah. A new quality discovered. Can you fall up there? No. Why is it broken then? You should be able to. Can you try? Maybe you can't fall. No. From... Oh, come on, what the... Okay. I tried! You don't! Sure. Why would there be a door over there? Oh! How is this piano still playing? The playing is not exactly the word I would use. No, how is it still working? It's... Do you teach piano as well? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casano kids how to play the piano? The piano? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you. Yes. I taught them some piano. Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. 
brought half the ceiling down. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened, but you're not wrong. Your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. See you around. What the? F what? Piece of shit. I wanted to see the syringe speaking at your ass because you didn't take it out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, why is Ronick green? I don't know. Maybe he likes Pasok. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, Ronick is well versed in history. He might know what Pasok is. I found some lighters in Facebook Marketplace the other day. Pasok lighters? Yeah. On the common place. I sent them to my mom. There lies virtue. And stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand in grim. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude. Follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. Esmo, thank you so much, man. It means so much. Uh, for new people to be coming into the fold, enjoying the shenanigans, and willing to stick around. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you uh, like, some of you guys really get it, what it means to, to be in this line of work, and I'm eternally grateful for it. <laughs> okay. What the text? Haha! <laughs> Yuki for 17 months! Whoa, that was a huge frame drop. So, uh, medicine box skin. Okay, baby. One of several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains tablets said to relieve sore throat and contains two vital vitamins. Okay. So we're stealing medicine. Now Esmo is playing with the emojis, huh? So we're stealing medicine. We're stealing medicine now. Esmo but... is also green. What, the medicine? No, Esmo. The name is green. In the oh, chat. yeah, because they're, they're members. Ah, oh, that's why they're green. They're golden members. If you know what See? I mean. See? You did it, Esmo. <laughs> yeah, Luki has been uh, extremely supportive, as are most of the regular peeps. Baby, what are you doing? No, 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 no. I it sounds like a small explosion to the people watching. Just leave it on. You told me to turn it off when I'm not talking. Yeah, but I don't want to get the people insane. Sorry, people. <laughs> a green member. Ha <laughs> ha! 
one million dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's from Austin Powers. I have to rewatch those movies. Sure. Extremely stupid comedy, like illegal stuff. It's like uh, that old meme of uh, the bald guy with his eyebrows doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Doctor okay. Evil. Uh huh. He wanted to uh, demand one million dollars or blow up the United States, and his counselors were like, "One million dollars not that much. We should ask for more." <laughs> like, a thousand million dollars. A thousand million. Yes. A million million. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. Well, even let's play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you what? would have known if you did. Don't kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You want to see up? I'm good, thank you. Well, I should be going then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. I just want to find my uncle before anything happens to him. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> he is much too lily livered to kill himself. Lily livered? Why would he? <laughs> it's <laughs> his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. Mess, that's probably deep fake. Uh, Tris, thank you for keeping us company, my man. Talk to you soon. Hmm, there's something missing. What? So this is Grace's room. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Cute. Okay, Nim's favorite toy. Hmm. What? What? Uh, Kabu, what do you think of this mirror, bro? I don't even have max settings. Look at this. I am actually there. Not very pristine, but I am. This must be the great Cassandra Beauregard's room. I'm not sure what I expect. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. Maybe something more extravagant? I think I've seen this somewhere. Do we Another do Zodiac again? code? What's that? Yeah. Now we have to put this in sequence. Can you... What is move market? N number one. That's number one. <laughs> well, uh, you know that the rot is kind of showing us the way, though. That's two. That's two. Mm. The last two, if you switch. I think this is here. Why don't we do it by numbers? One, two, 
No, no, it's not. I, I remember that it is not numbers wise. It is some sort of. Um... Yeah, that's it. So we have two, five, seven. And you know where we find those uh, collaborations? What in the zodiac circle? Yeah. So uh, Pieces, Gemini. Oh, that's you. Yep. And uh, Leo. Oh, that's me. So it's like two boobs touching. What? Look at it. <laughs> it's the two sign and the fish hook. And the fish hook? Yeah, I have to remember them somehow. That's for the for the boiler. Yeah. The tub is full. Um, one of the things I greatly appreciate about this game is that it has toilets, man. Like, so many survival horror games are like the mansion without the toilet. Where are they taking a piss? That's the horror. Part of the game. Of having to hold it in. <laughs> no, finding poop everywhere. Oh. Not go, not being able to go to the loo. <laughs> like the palace of Versailles, where they were dropping it out of the windows. Yeah. Ironic. Uh, that game scarred you for life. <laughs> that game scarred you for life, I think. I remember Cleo was like, it's not that bad, it's like, it has puzzles, like, it's fine. Yeah. No, it's fucking bad. <laughs> By the end of the game, I was pulling my hair out. Yeah, but those are so funny. <laughs> they're, they're party poopers. They're having poop parties where everyone's throwing feces at each other. <laughs> you eat plants. Will that door close as well? Why wouldn't it? Because it iron and you can see through it yeah what you see now is a transparency this is the trigger where the door is once you go in it loads the actual 3d assets okay. but, but it happens in the blink of an eye like this i didn't catch it can you do it again <laughs> now that was a private show You don't want to go there. Why? Try it. No, no, no. Baby. Yes, this works too. When I'm playing with a mouse and she just moves my hand around like... Sneaky, sneaky! <laughs> the choo-choo! <laughs>
There was a dead body in here. Did I just imagine that? Okay, this is a bit more complex than the previous one. So this is the church. It has to be a porch. Mm. I think this is here. This goes here because it's clouds, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go here. Yeah, this should be here. No, that's not here. This should be here. Should it? Ah, this is here. Okay. Yep, this is right. This is here 100 percent okay this is like this so we know that this is part of the sun what baby I wanted to watch that puzzle. You just watched it. Oh man, that's stuttering. Like the game is super light and very well optimized. Um, okay, big is nine, medium seven, and small is five. Nine, seven, five. Why are you doing this the long way around? Five. Here is the arrow. Yeah. Here is the five. Oh, you're right, baby. Yeah. The talisman is showing another room. Something is open. The room that we're in. Mm -hmm. It always shows the room that we're in. We were in. Let's we'll go back. one of Jeremy's dreams. Okay, uh, is this viewable for you or is it too dark? Guys, I want to know because, you know, we're not just playing for ourselves. You have to be able to see what's happening. What are you doing, baby? I'm reading the chat. Oh. I would like some toffee. The choo-choo train. Yeah. It actually made me crave toffee. <laughs> That's joke. How is it now? Will rename the game Alone in the Not So Dark. It's been a while since I visited the family tomb. I hope it's in a better state than the real world. I have to make a call. 
Hey baby, uh, bring me something to drink. Essa buca. Dodge ya and suck you in the penis. Oh my god, Nymph. Put him away. We're the bestest. Dude, I was carrying full ammo and now I'm dry. I'm like dry. Dry as a nun. Well, I'm playing a bit whateverish. But still. So guys, what do you think of the game so far? Because there are some big outlets that gave it a 4 out of 10 and shit. Which is in no way. Vasilis, you like that shit? Dude, all in all, like it had, doesn't have the combat of Resident Evil 4, for example, like you can't expect every smaller production to have that kind of technology and mechanics and stuff but what is done here is done quite well it has like two scenarios one for Carnby one for uh, um, come on Emily and uh, they're not drastically different, but they have their moments. And they are not asking you for an arm and a leg to, to allow you to play it.
<laughs> Knew you asked. Man. Love you so much, man. What? Come on, grab it. No, 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 no. Grab the opportunity attack. Okay, we're good. Uh, turn on your mic, baby. Hello again. <laughs> Esmo, it's all good, man. We're just uh, going through the graveyard. I'm gonna tell you something that... Oh, I got the crucifix. Those Weapon. demons just had the chance. Yeah. Bonk them on the head with the crucifix. Yeah. Try it out on this one. Oh, you son of a bitch. What Recover! Are what are you doing? Jesus. Jesus! Jesus indeed! <laughs> oh, a chest in the graveyard! What are we playing? Baldur's Gate? <laughs> and one thing I wanted to say that uh, doesn't happen to me often, like, I played this a couple nights ago uh, while I was playing with Carnby. I'm not getting bored, you know, like, I'm enjoying. Every second of it. Really? Usually when I go back to back the old places uh, in games, I... Like, you know, I, I'm not big on repetition in general. Okay, we were here. Hmm, this is the one. Yeah. I like the ambience. Age, Age of, of wonders, wonders, huh? huh? Baby. The mic. Well, you felt me approach. I literally rested my chin on your uh, shoulder to read the comments. Hmm. What are you doing? The bird is the bird. bird is the... Ah, now I remember how it's done. What are you doing? This is like this. Yeah, it has. It has indentations. In the, the this thingy. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the stream, guys! Can we please reach 30 likes on this stream? It'd be awesome! Is this a, a cave? It run. Run, forest! The sacrifice. 
The Finger Emblem. Yep, almost there. Almost there. I made it out. Okay, so Well Yeah. No. Ah, yes. But What? No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. No, you have to do it. No, it's, it's as simple as it gets. That's all it is. Oh. Okay. Is that the woman from before? No, no. That's okay. Perossi who wrote the, the Zodiac Journal that has been helping us. Emily, is that you? Jeremy. What are you doing here? But you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I bargained with the dark man. A pact to keep Nolan safe with my own life as tribute. The dark man isn't real, Jeremy. There is nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. Don't be foolish. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman and I know about Tarawaya. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't speak. Who's in here? Show yourself. You know who, Emily? He took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. <laughs> oh, papas. Emily! What? No, I don't think so, Gav. Why do you want to go there, Jeremy? They become a bit more beside me. I don't know if the people can see you. Well, when I come beside you, you tell me to not. Because... No, I'm telling you not to rotate me. No, you so don't want to. strange occurrences lately. Memories explode Echo. into existence and then mm. find out like tie glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman, maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Terroria. Oh, my love. Jeremy. Luggage key. Uh, this is for his box in his room. He meant to go to Tarawaya. Maybe there is something there that would help. She was beautiful. I wonder what happened to her. The Astarte Artist Colony. I'm pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain when I was a child. Hey there, Thorin. What's up, my man? Mm. Right here. What if you go a bit to the left? Yeah, Vasilis, this is great that uh, someone is reading all the text. This is excellently done in Baldur's Gate 3, man. Tons of text, all narrated everywhere. What? Yeah, Baldur's Gate. No. Not the books, yeah, but all the little events and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true, Vasilis. 
Uh, we're good, Oren. We're playing alone in the dark. The lenses. You need to look up the Taurus. The what? The Taurus uh, star constellation. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's lower floor in the drawing room, right? I don't remember. Mass Effect 1, 2, 3 are some of my favorite games. Torin, if you didn't throw us a like, I'm gonna hunt you and take all your beaver jerky. I'm just letting you know to save you the embarrassment. Beaver jerky? Is it good? I don't know. I'm not a Canadian. Do they actually eat beaver? Yeah, Kavu, with the difference that uh, those cats are actually telegraphed and each time you grab a cat and pet it your life becomes better so there's a huge difference what fight becomes, me what becomes better your life okay so you are you have been a mother larker atrabanacos Zoom. Thanks. There it is. Hallelujah. Oh. Another orgasm. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's yeah. probably there. Maybe down. Yeah, or this. This or the up one. Mm. Yeah, so it's those two. This one, yeah. This is the one. No, it was correct. Yeah, I yes, think. it's like this. It's like this? Yeah. Okay. Nine. You're so good at this. Oh, nine for seven. Nine for seven or one? It That's does it by itself. Seven. It doesn't force you to do every time, it would be totally <laughs> stupid. Like. Okay, you got it. You know how to solve it. <laughs> Nymph. You're such an intellectual, bro. <laughs> yeah, the pufferfish uh, cuts the... How are they called? What? There are pufferfish cats in uh, in Neo 2. Uh, Scampus. The Scampus. What? Yeah, that's what they're called. Sounds disgusting. No, it's not disgusting. It's Japanese. Okay, we need to be to the dining hall. Yeah, I will buy her a uh, campus. Ah, here we go. Chap twa twa. What are you talking about? You 
You should not have come, Emily. How do you know my name? Have we met? In a manner of speaking. You had said scoundrels. The manifestation of Yermi's deepest desires. I am to you unfamiliar. Yet I know of you. Are you Jeremy? Is that what you're saying? I am only his subconscious thoughts. I cannot speak for his totality. How come you have a Spanish accent? And what is this place? Is this Tarawea? This is indeed the fabled convent of Tarawea, where Yermi goes to find peace during his sessions with Dr. Gray. It's all fantasy then. Based on the things he has read and seen. And that includes you? Yes. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Yermi once read a book of mine. It stuck with him. Can you help me break the pact with the Dark Man so we can leave Dorsetto? Yermi doesn't want you to. He wants to honor his word to the Dark Man. Why? What's the point? I don't understand what the pact is for. The people of Dorsetto are calling upon evil to enter this world. Your uncle offered his soul to the Dark Man to contain this disaster. What? No, that doesn't make any sense. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn. As the sun rises, Yermi will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised, the Dark Man shall quarantine and starve the evil inside their seto. What about all the patients and the staff? They will not stand the chance. That's unacceptable. How could Jeremy agree to this? Desperation, of course. Jeremy did not choose martyrdom lightly. Well, nothing is lost yet. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy, and hopefully the people at Dorsetto. What even is this evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think mm -hmm. some nightmarish entity from the bayou. I'll just have to deal with that later. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? Did you run out of arguments? You're actually quite inspiring, Miss Emily. If we put Jeremy's feelings aside, I would have to say I agree with you. Really? You might just be able to save the old man from himself. I think you should take a look in the convent library. Try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. Okay. You should know that you won't be alone in those grand halls. The Dark Man has been reading those books for years. He's here? He's an intellectual. Very careful. Hmm? Of course. Yeah. I, I, I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily. Esmo, yeah, they were a surefire method, man, because they... What did they increase? They increased your key exponentially. Yes? The dark man is the glob glob gub galab. He loves books. And oh, my God, yeah, and he dances like a mofo. He's a true treasure trove. <laughs> You're a doofus. Don't vandalize the game, you pooper. The swing balloon, the kind. Yeah, exactly. Esmo, you're quite versed in Neo. Nice, nice. You could just spam Anima. Anima Storm from uh, the final boss. Melt everything. Oh. <laughs> Can you go in the water? Mm -hmm. Try. Go. You can go in the water, it's just shallow uh, water. It's shallow. I thought yeah. it was a pool. Because it was a poodle. The poodle is over there. Sleeping. Have it drank a gallon of water. <laughs> the great what? Beautiful <laughs> <laughs> Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hotwood. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Frowler. 
Okay, this uh, specific tidbit was done by a guy who was obviously drunk. This is a library. <laughs> So we must find the invisible librarian. Yeah, uh, no, no, he's not invisible. It says that he is. Okay, Grimmy. Thank you for keeping us company, my bro. Talk to you soon. It auto saved. It auto saves in general, yeah. Oh. Ah. Uh. The key of Habertus. After a suspended room was built, its key was given to the convent librarian Habertus to keep Jeremy's darkest secrets safe from prowling eyes. This is a very strange sequence. Why are we scared of the dark man? He's an evil entity. He doesn't look like he's evil. He's evil. Are Thing we is... hiding from him? Uh, no, you don't need to hide. I spent an hour here when I was playing on hard. Thinking that I need to somehow stealth past him. You have to mitigate the damage you take uh, in order to run past him. It doesn't matter that he knows where you are. He will always know where you are. Uh, you run past him? Yeah. Um, from where do you take damage I want from? to be there. Uh, his aura. His aura damages you. Now I have to lead him here. Why? What? Yeah, if you try to shoot him, you shoot yourself. What? Yeah, it's an easter egg. Just wanted to show you. If you try to shoot him, it forces you to... put the gun on your head. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Why do you want to lure him here? Because I can uh, circumvent him here, I have space. Jesus. How? Yeah, not, not well enough. <laughs> you don't look like you have space. Yeah. Hey, MM! What's up? See, the purple is not actual damage, it's shock damage. So when you get out of the purple... You're almost dead. Yeah, yeah. And now I stayed a bit too long. Run. Did he stop coming? Yeah, uh, yeah. It doesn't sound you anymore. Why? Because that's as far as he hunts you, I don't know. Maybe he got bored. Or maybe he found a better way. Why aren't you healing yourself? I'll heal. We're doing well, MM. How have you been doing, my man?
It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution. Emily! Oh. Please, no. I hope you found what you were looking for, Emily. I fear there is no going back. He's in my head, Juan. His breath replacing mine. You should not have come, Emily. Is he gonna take her eyes out? No. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Being <sighs> Nice, MM. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get jumped. Well, if it isn't my new best friend. Come, join me in some hazel water. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna call it from now, from now on. <laughs> Giggle water. Yeah. Oh, Miss Hartwood, don't tell me you've been out swinging without me. Ruth, what is this place? Where are we? Have you never been to the Maccabean before? Goodness me. Tell me, Miss Hartwood, have you ever considered going out for an evening? Are we in New Orleans? Oh, who can tell anymore? I just went inside the grand parlor and suddenly here I am. The grand parlor? Can I get back to Dorsetto from here? <laughs> Are you sure you It's not a rocket launcher anymore. It's a there's a painting roll in there. God damn it, man. <laughs> she's, she's holding on to it for the last boss. Maybe I should go further. Find that magic show the book was talking about. But there was no address, just Preg's shipping company. Oh, is this about where Jeremy met the dark man? How do you know about that? What are you always Jeremy lighting your cigarette? The dark man. I always hmm? felt a bit envious. Why are you always How lighting so? your cigarette? If an all-powerful entity showed me any interest, I'd at least hear him out. I'm sure he has plenty to offer. I don't think you'd want that, Ruth. You're too ah. sweet for such darkness. <laughs> oh, please. What kind of blue nose do you take me for? I relish the darkness. I think it suits me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't happen to know how to find the Preg's shipping company, do you? Of course. Their office is just over there. <laughs> nice. Whoa, what happened? You just got lucky. <laughs> A bientôt, Mademoiselle Emily. Is this in France? Hey, do you no, know but South office? America, S South yeah. United States, but let's say, no had a lot of French influence, like about a century ago. Maybe it's a cigar, maybe it's a cougar. You never know. What? Asleep, asleep, with an astucized mind, Yermi filtered these words from their sepulchers ground. Ever their praises, and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, mother, and take pity on us. Accept our sacrifice, and judge our worth. Ia, Shubnigrath. Ia, Shubnigrath. The black goat of the woods. With a thousand young. What is Davy? Yes, are you sleepy? As the world moved into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name, for poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Jeremy was, of course, no such victim. For he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his threshold very well. It wasn't new. 
It was something that had always been with him. So you gather all this. <laughs> the syringe. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, some of them are just collectibles. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night. Okay, let's let's read this. Restless crowds to witness the enigmatic Black Pharaoh. He was a kind of itinerant showman, who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear wherever he performed. It was the sort of thrills my father sought out, especially if there was a problem. Bye bye, Asmo. Thanks for the generosity, man. The Nolan's address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext Shipping Company pressing their contribution in the morning papers. There were rumors of an Egyptian sarcophagus being a part of the act. Something which kept me wondering how they had carried that up the seemingly endless stairs. The details of the showman's performance have almost been entirely replaced by dread. The kind that numbs and hides the terror of something unbearable. What is certain is that ever since that night, I can't remember a single day passing without seeing or sensing the presence of a dark man. What is it, Mumkin? What do you want? Hmm? What? What do you want? How did you call me? Pumpkin. Oh. Jeremy's introduction to the dark man. I'm sure I can find the address inside. You should have lightened that up. To the what? Light it up. It was uh, Molotov, wasn't it? One second, baby. Wait. It crossed his mind. You're almost dead. Oh yeah. I've been like that for some time. I know. I told you to heal. I'm really hardcore. I'm like uh, that meme with Dumbledore. What? Do you put your name in the Goblet of Fire, Harry? No, it's like... Harry, sometimes things are easy and sometimes they're hard. And I'm both right now. She's very pure, she didn't get it. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> you like the shovel better? Yeah. I want to shovel the shit. That's a, there was another one right there. Oh, fudge. Shovel him. Doop, 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 doop. Dream well of done. shovel for negation. There was... Ah, a broom. An oar. An oar? If it was a broom, that'd be strange. Like how, how do you smash their faces in with a broom? You can do it. If I'm... <laughs> If I'm mad enough, I can do it with a paper towel. <laughs> it's because you're so mean. Yeah, you know me. A little mini. Like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Resident Evil played like Alone in the Dark because Alone in the Dark was the one that came out first. Alone in the Dark is the daddy. Is it? What is that? Coming out of the sewer. Squeak. What? 
Worms. <laughs> oh my god, you said it's so... <laughs> so weird. How do you do that? It's attacks of opportunity in, in the environment. Save you some ammo. Nice. It looks like a broom. What is an ore? Like iron ore? No, no, it's an ore. What Some is pee. an ore? Ah. I thought that it was called like a paddle or something. Yeah, many names. I need a key. How is domestic violence a paddle? What kind of drug are you using, Vasilis? <laughs> Domestic violence is a puddle. Chaos is a ladder. What? <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones. Domestic. Put me a, a sledgehammer. Domestic violence is a puddle. A, a, a puddle of guts. I don't know. And blood and guts. Blood and guts. Ah, okay. I thought you made a strange, you know, combo. <laughs> Shoot the lock. I can hear some. You haven't used your shotgun yet. I have, I killed a couple enemies. When I was you. missing? Yeah. How dare you? Like Greta. Greta? Who's Greta? Greta Thunberg. Greta? How dare you? Greta who? Thunberg. Oh. For some reason they never... Oh my god, the skleek. The skleek. They never what? Uh, they don't actually physically cross that corner. Because... Oh, okay. Gotcha. By the way, guys, uh, today I was uh, trying to make a video. I didn't get the loot I needed, so I couldn't make it in Rise of the Ronin, but guys, honestly, it has that stupid as fuck AI that creates some really ridiculous scenarios, what? but it's so good. Like the things that work in Rise of the Ronin really work. If you're on the fence about it and you enjoyed Wulong, you will love it. How do you like this baby? I don't know. Why? It's okay. Out of all the games we've played, aside from Baldur's Gate 3, which one would you say is the one you enjoyed the most? Hmm. Um, the pixel art one. Signalis? No. The other one. Which where was the you, other one? Where you died and came back alive. You die here tonight. You will. Oh, die you will here. die here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I loved that. The Normal is very manageable. What? What would you think that I would like the most? Signalis, for example. You didn't like Signalis? I liked it, but I liked the one better. Okay. 
Hmm, but I, yeah, it's uh, it's lower in my list. Baldur's Gate takes the cake. Yeah, I also really like the Viking one. Oh, uh, Hellblade. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it better than Signalis. This is getting really okay. Ridiculous. I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Tommy gun. Who's Tommy? Who, uh, that's exactly the, what I was gonna say. All of his things were recovered, but blood Jeez. was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the pit. All items have now been signed and delivered. Now let's keep the paper safe. What is left? Later is right. And hell is back again. This is the guy that does the voiceover uh, at listening while you get uh, the lowers degree. Or proficiency. Oh yeah, that you can barely understand what the hell he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, ma'am. Be well. Okay, so... We have what we need for this. What do we need for this? What is left? What is left, later is right, and hell is back again. So it's left, right, left, but what numbers? Mm, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, count the letters? What? Like four, five, and four. Why? Four num four letters. Ah, what? Yeah. kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> Maybe kind of going outside here will something will happen. Oh, do I jump from here? Yeah. See, I told you, you can jump. There's a manhole. The manhole, the anus. That is your manhole, not a manhole. <laughs> okay, what is the objective here? Why couldn't Ruth come with her and help her out, Emily thought? She really didn't want to be alone anymore. At least Emily was back in New Orleans again. In front of the warehouse of the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, she should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man inside. Okay, so doesn't make much sense to to go back into the sewers. Maybe turn it left until you hear a click or something. Yeah, wait. No. No, there's no sound. Okay. Try turning it left four times. Right, five times. What are you doing? I'm trying to detect if there is any kind of sound, but there isn't.
Fade? Oh, Fade! Guys, Fade is a, an indie developer, by the way. And we will be playing his game in the making soon on a dedicated streams. So, uh, streams. So, stay tuned. Because uh, it's a very interesting action RPG. Any chance that we have it here? Hmm. There is a little ticking noise. Okay, let's wait. Uh, let's put it as loud as possible. doesn't seem to be producing a sound. No, the noise is from turning it. Oh. Let me just... Anything around here? Take a look. No. It wouldn't be just like that. Game Boy version of what? Alone in the Dark? Vasil's tomorrow is a uh, national holiday, bro. Bye bye. Would love to have you for a bit longer. Hmm. Anything on the cards on the table? Like, that would be stupid as fuck, but... Can you try... 4 left... 5 right... And... Either 4 or 7 left. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. 5? Yeah, 1... one 7? Uh, no? No. Uh, 3 more. Left? Le left, yeah. No. What was the idea? Oh, the... the, the letters. Man, okay, it's in this text. All of his... Maybe his, like... Eight is the... whatever number. No, it that. doesn't go like that. He's. It's mostly yachts. It's not gonna be an HIS. No, I mean... Uh, a, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. Eight. Eight is the eighth number. And S is which, baby? We don't have an infinite number of rotations. No, I mean... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, or H. Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Eight. Eight. Eight's That's left. Eight. Okay. Eight left. I is nine right. And S is... Oh, um... We don't have enough stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's way too... way too much. Yeah. Well, blood was said. Uh, All of his things. What? You mean four letters later, five letters, yeah. and hell four letters? That's what I wanted, yeah. but... That was smart. It's not this, but... Maybe four on the number? Like, go left until you hit four? Okay, we'll try that. Okay. Then go right until you hit five. No, you you. That's five. Yeah, but it was one bug. You hit it twice now. Okay. Four. 
five and uh, four again up that's it that's it i can't believe it you got a genius little baby gotta go manifesto september 19th 1892 break shipping company delivered four steamer trunks one egyptian sarcophagus <laughs> and a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the black pharaoh performing at gate street yeah nymph stuff of nightmares maybe you're amazing <laughs> guys welcome to the stream drop us a like please if you enjoy the show Did you... What? What? Do what? Why? What? 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 Why? <laughs> that makes no sense. Why did she just break it on her leg? Because... It's like a Greek wedding. Yeah, I think uh, there's a reason that you have that gun. <laughs> yeah. Shit's getting real. Oh, I can't exactly bail, can I? Just... Just kill it. He died. He died, he did. It died. All is well. All is well. All is well. All is well. Baby, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Why? Because you're so smart. Thank you. Even though I don't know the, the Rasputin musician. Shut up. <laughs> Take the credit. Don't spoil it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rachmaninov. <laughs> Whatever. Rasputin. <laughs> Thank you. I'm taking all the credit. <laughs> Looks like the fog cleared up. What is this? Oh, it's healing. Black Pharaoh. Temple. Ah, it's the mask of the... the dark I think man. the guy infiltrated Western society by uh, masquerading as a magician. Well, he actually is uh, a cosmic entity. What? No! Yeah. No! There what? was a mummy that they brought from Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. That is the the curse of the mummy. Overtook the magician. Or or it just the curse, the manifestation uh -huh. of the. Without curse. the magician participated. Yeah. Friendly participation. Like, uh, wasn't it the then? That they were hosting uh, mummy unwrapping party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> Dumbasses. Oh look. You shouldn't have come. Don't say that. You needed my help. All I wanted was to keep people away from Dissetto. Especially you, Emily. You're the only one in the family who forgave me for choosing old age over death. What? Father still cares for you? He is paying for your treatment at Dorsetto. To get rid of me! 
That's the only reason anyone's at this chateau. Someone in the family thought you were becoming an embarrassment. Help me get you out of this mess, Jeremy. I want to take you away. Your father would send me right back. What if I take you up north, to Kingsport? I know Mother still has family up there. I've been thinking about going for a while now. I haven't been to Massachusetts in years. I still paint from memory, you know? That old lighthouse makes for a great motif. Your father and I would go almost every summer. Then when our great uncle died, we stopped going back. What is there to be done about the dark man? He's the one holding you back, right? You feel like you can't leave without paying your debt to him. The dark man has been with me since I was 12 years old. He was standing right on that stage right over there. For a brief moment, his gaze held mine. And that was it. I recognized him for what he was. The hardwood guys embodied in flesh. I thought it was my turn. But I was only there to be mocked. Instead, his attention moved on to my father sitting next to me. I turned to him and saw his face. The whitest shade of pale I've ever seen. He bit off his tongue that night and suffocated. That's how he died? Please. There's a way. Why not? Two ways to be attacked. <coughs> One worse than the other. A written contract now buried inside his sunken temple. Don't you remember what it said? <gasps> I don't want to. Try, Jeremy. What did the contract say? No, we can't. We can't let New Orleans suffer that blight. I have to make this sacrifice. What are you talking about? Is this the thing from the bayou? Juan said something. <laughs> what the hell? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so there is a way to break the path, at least. Hidden somewhere inside the Dark Man's temple. Hmm. I just need to find it. Somehow. This is, ac this is actually in the book. In what book? The Commonplace book. There it is. What? Uh, what is that? Like, two pharaohs? Yeah, it's two boobs touching. Two... What? And uh, what? yeah, what? what is it? Gemini? I don't know what it is. Gemini is uh, this one, and it's yours. Okay. Oops, that's it. No, you... the... nah. There it is. Yeah. And uh, here's the other one. It was in the book. Okay. So um, how do we divide this numerically? Like, like Gemini, Scorpio, and. Uh, what do you mean? Like uh, we have to, to, to decipher it with the other book. Yeah, do it like uh, not here. Wait, wait, wait. Gemini, Scorpio, and uh, this other guy. Let just escape. Escape. Right click, baby. Right click. Ah. Uh, the journal. Yes. So it was Gemini. Five. Scorpio. Ah, Virgo. Let's go. There we go. They look the five, same. Eight, and two. two. Five, eight, two. Virgo looks really like Scorpio. <laughs> yeah. No? No. Maybe, Why? maybe it was indeed Scorpio, not Virgo. Let's take a look again no it wasn't that one it was the middle one yeah wait you little shit so 10 yeah 10 5 8 10 no 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 okay oh my god 5 10, 10 2 
Five, ten, two. And take all your candy. <laughs> you don't give me any candy. <laughs> I give you candy. <laughs> okay, ten. Why? Oh, that's why. The sequence is uh, the larger, the smaller, and then the smallest, so... Oh. Two? Uh, five? Ten. Ten? Or, uh, or eight? Two, five? And was it eight or ten? Do eight first. Yeah, eight. Was eight. So we're going at the at the sunken temple. Oh, what? Open the 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 sarcophagus. Oh yeah, oh. it opened. Shit. Yeah. Uh, Kavus is uh, helping so much, man. She, she's extremely intelligent. She solves so much stuff. What? Dude, this is so nice. Like, this is genuinely excellent artistic direction. Out of nowhere, you're in the desert. Well... You want to go into the pyramid, I guess. Or uh, sunken pyramid. And there is a total eclipse. Yeah. The sun is uh, 400 times bigger than the moon. But the moon is 400 times closer. So there is a total eclipse. Yes. Yeah, it's such a coincidence, though. Oh, yeah. It and the uh, the moon moves three centimeters a year uh, away from the Earth. So. The temple of Nephron lies under our camp. Sometime. There will not be. Mm -hmm. collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found in the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus the Black Sun was seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because, according to the Kitab al Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun. A message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented, but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts, where souls are traded for malicious miracles. I like how it, ha it has such a huge scope. It's like... What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? You start with this uh, local cares in the asylum and then it's like outer cosmic gods and shit. Well... Okay, you can do this, Emily. No flesh on those hands. Yeah, that must hurt like a son of a bitch. Do sons of bitches hurt more? Depends. None as days work. Play more than eight hours. Okay. That's a very strange trophy. It's the constellation Taurus. The fake star is Aldebaran. Something to do with the dark air. 
Alda Brand. So we need to turn it off to be dark. What's this? What? Unlocks a hidden memory in the attic. Yes. Okay. Let it be. Somewhere over that uh, door. Mm hmm. Have you gone this far before? No, no. That's the first time I'm seeing this. Lasers. Charging my lasers. It's like uh, the Godzilla. Whoa. Vampires. In point accuracy. Uh, you need to focus them on the gem, I think. Yes, yes. Somehow. I don't know how. But somehow. Indeed. <laughs> What are you getting from that? Nothing. Those are all empty. I'm opening just to find disappointment inside. Our shotgun sells here. Lens! Over here! There you go! Of the Hallelujah. go 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 mm hmm mm, something tells me they will be fighting in here. <laughs> That's why it's this over here. Oh no, bus! Dude, lady is beast mode. She just grabbed an item, threw it, and killed the bat like in one go. Have you caught a bat before? What? Have you caught a bat before? No, the bats appear in this segment, and I wasn't in no. this segment. In real life, I mean. Oh, no. I would have caught a bat. I don't know. We have, uh... Well, is it a bat with AT or UWT? None of those. No, wait. What? These no, bats are BAT. BAT, I okay. mean. Okay, these bats I haven't touched. Really? Well, uh, I have, we have uh, caught like 10 bats in my uh, family. <laughs> okay. They, li they really like our house <laughs> for some reason. And uh, once we open like uh, our windows, they actually found a way through the roof and stuff. Oh, nice! Burn the other one as well. Can you kill the bats with that? <laughs> no idea. What? No idea. Kill it with a laser. I don't know if it can uh, rotate that much, but I'll try. The slowest weapon yeah. ever! I killed with a laser! <laughs> nice! You also burn everything to the ground. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're still there, mess. Okay.
Yeah, we didn't go this way. Well, we have a... Uh, we had a bat. Like, a lot of bats. A big, big black ones. Mm -hmm. Bats. <laughs> yes. Coming through the roof. In our house. Mm -hmm. And once we opened the, our door, they flew in. <laughs> Real friendly suckers. Well, they just flew around. But uh, we all freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> well, bats not, are not gonna kill you. Well, they're so dirty though. What? Indeed. <laughs> Why did he give it to you? Never crossed his mind that the creature would be, you know, alive. Why would he give it to you, though? Why wouldn't he throw it away? A memento. Are you gonna, like, hang it on your wall or something? <laughs> oh, this set piece here is fantastic. What? I like this place. I once went into an escape room like that. Kinda. Mm. It had uh, lasers. Um, if you. and scribbling all over the walls. So if you turned off the light and uh, turned on the lasers, it will. Uh, so at different letters and numbers to open the locks <laughs> very nice yeah it was also um, there were also mirrors on the walls so the lasers would uh, retract would retract and uh, you would hang some mirrors for it to show different uh, combinations for locks and stuff expensive escape room Wait. Why would it be expensive? Well, you have to organize all that. Yeah. It's tedious, not expensive. Ah, uh, okay. So. So the idea here is to open all of the doors. To find the lenses, I guess. Yeah, find the lenses. But uh, mm. you were working at the, the nature center. But he thought the bat was dead. Then why would he give it to the nature center? What would you do with a dead bat? Oh, that's not the one we want. Balls. We need to open something else. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hmm. Control it. Up, 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 up. What the fudge? Up. Ah. Oh. A bat. Uh, there is an eye up there. Yeah, yeah. Up, up. Let me burn the shed, baby. Why? Why not? Why yes? This is the one. That's why the ba the bats are chasing you. Because I'm burning all the tapestries. You're burning their home. They're babies. <laughs> a real <Yeah>. mean mofo. <laughs> exactly. He's a pyromaniac. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. I hate the mofos, man. Now... There are the same enemies, though. Yeah, it's three enemies again and again. Why are you moving like you're... Come on. Nice. Ah, come on. How is it still moving? Make it go through the laser. That's what I'm thinking. Is it smart enough? No. It didn't hurt him. Yeah, it didn't hurt him because... Obviously the developers didn't think of it. If you go, will it hurt you? No, I don't think so. Oh. That's... Like it burns uh, the tapestries, but... It kills the bats. Yeah, kill the bat as well. True. Maybe only if you control it? Yeah. Oh, a okay. lens. Well done. Mm. These are bullets that the pharaohs were using. Yeah. Well, uh, it could have been from the excavator. Nice. You opened up something else? Yeah, probably. There you go. What are you doing? Baby, mislicks happened. Okay. I thought you did it on purpose. I'm mm. sorry. I didn't want to accuse you of anything. Evil doing. Yes, because you like to watch the world burn. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those bad, bad tapestries. <laughs> they could use some fire. <laughs> 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 Throw a lot of at them. You see them banners? Okay, now the idea is pull all the lasers on the crown. Yeah. This is a very methodical, very chill set piece. Yeah, it's nice. Because it doesn't have a lot of combat, it's just one Big bigger puzzle. puzzle. Yeah. And that's it. I'd be so low slow. What is open there now? That was the little balcony thing where the the crown was. Oh. No, you need to go the other way and point it to the star. You need to go to the crown. Yeah, yeah, but why? Why not? What do you mean? Why wouldn't they already have Because, it? I don't know, the star is just one of the contraptions. Yeah? I, I would know. think that the crown was the... The bit juju. Can you hear the whispers? Yeah. Ah, oh, right. right. <laughs> Jump! And right as you pass, that boulder falls on your head and you die. Mm. Oh, it's like a pharaoh's tomb. They break uh, the compartments, the sound comes in and you're fucked. Oh, oh shit. It killed you! 
the the enemy, I guess. Dodge, dodge, chica. Chica. <laughs> She says that it's ready to collapse and she's going down the stairs so elegantly. <laughs> yeah, instead of hauling ass. Look at that. <laughs> Run! Use uh, some drink, something to drink. Go! Take it! Here we are! A toothpick. A magic wand. Acknowledge psychological trauma. Break through the barriers of self-deceit. Temper manic behavior. Is this it? Is this the contract? It's his diagnosis. Yeah. Those bats saved you from the collapsing tomb. Yeah. Where you killed all their brothers and sisters and children. Ah, oh, Jeremy. How much pain and suffering you could have prevented. Emily? What? What are you doing? Detective. Uh, how is your investigation going? Well, I still have no clue where Jeremy is, but I think I know why he's hiding. This place is full of lunatics planning to perform some kind of ritual tonight. Well, that sounds ridiculous. Or rather would have just a day ago. It gets worse. I have reason to believe they killed anyone who didn't want to go along with the plan. Detective, have you encountered any monsters tonight? I just told you, I think they killed people. Beauregard, the author, Perosi, the singer, Mr. Waits, the clerk, Mr. Chance, the gardener, they're all missing. No, I mean, have you fired your gun tonight? Of course not. They wouldn't just kill outsiders like that. It would bring too much attention. But you should keep your eyes open. So you haven't seen anything strange? been anywhere else what are you trying to tell me emily are you in some kind of danger let me drive you back to new orleans i think i have enough you know at least get the police to take a look at this case no i'm fine thank you detective so the other character is not getting directly involved in the proceedings only one is affected yeah but it, I think it's better if you choose her. Yeah, more personal stakes. Not only that, there is this illusion that it might just be all in her head because it runs in their family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the other guy doesn't have. Uh, he doesn't have a backup with a, yeah. a, a, a background. A with history, the yeah. The family must first medical. In order to proceed, the lying must stop, so we can break through the barriers of self-deceit. Finally, temper manic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. A dagger swath in the grip. Two slick snakes, found buried in the sunken temple with the dark man's contract. Yeah. 
He has to take his out his eye out with it. I better get to work on breaking the pack of the bar test. It's the only way to save Jen. Good thing I still have the cows. I have a feeling of window. Didn't you just come from there? Yeah. Go down the stairs. Oof. <laughs> You still don't have that key? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, this key again? Get rid of Jeremy, everything will go back to normal. That reminds me. I saw Miss Emily earlier. You remember her? You know she's Jeremy's niece. She's looking for him. That's right. She's helping us. In her own way. As long as she don't stand in the way of the mother of a thousand young. <laughs> I don't think she knows or cares about that. She just here for Jeremy. I'll be more worried about that Detective Carmen fella. He been snooping around asking all kinds of questions. God, it hurts. I wish you would stop doing that. Gives me the heebie jeebies. What? <laughs> the heebie jeebies. The mother of a thousand young. Pavo, <laughs> what do you prefer, the hibi or the jibi? I prefer the jibi. What has spread? What is going on here? What? Am I seeing you? Huh? What? Am I annoying you? No, no, baby. Okay, you know what, guys? We're gonna leave it here for tonight. Um, yeah, almost four hours of streaming again, and uh, we'll see if we're gonna stream tomorrow or the day after tomorrow because there is an occasion uh, we have to attend. But we'll see. So, for you who stuck with us, thank you so much for watching. You're awesome. If you want to support the channel, uh, Patreon, buy me the coffee, a membership the coffee. here, or a subscription on Twitch, direct PayPal, or whatever, everything helps keep the lights on. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always have a perfection. Cheers.